Ooh, what was that? Something just swished back my head. Mm, maybe I don't see aliens because I'm too low for frequency. I need to raise my frequency to see the aliens, but I am sort of stuck holding myself somewhere. There's somebody here. Okay. I keep, they keep going by my head. All right, are they good? Ask Fishin. Fishin? He has no problem with them. Welcome, guys. Don't spook Jim. Oh, they're not spooking me. They're just moving around a lot. Maybe these are just carrying equipment, like alien doctors carrying equipment or something like that. Or just a cat playing, or a bird flying. Maybe it's a bird spirit, or an angel, like. Well, you're Should welcome. I? If you're good, you're welcome in. So, I mean, I didn't. I don't know who you are. I've never really experienced anything quite like that. It was like very quick movements. Ah, oh, I get it. Okay, that's that's what it was. A fishing told me that it was a uh, some kind of fairy. Yeah, we, uh, some. Ah, uh, it was Tuba Buddha Edmund Murray who asked about fairies. I think. Mm -hmm. He said, "What dimension are they?" So they came. <laughs> they came like, answering. Mm -hmm, they're fifth. All right, and I I would assume they're outside of dimensions. Mm -hmm. They're sort of worker bees of creation. Are they? Yes. Yeah, they can be. Yeah. What dress does she wear? Mm hmm? What dress does this fairy wear? I can't see it. Ask her. What, what, what? What dress? Oh, what dress? Is it purple? It can be. Are you in Jim now? Are you speaking through Jim or is this Jim speaking? It's Jim. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I assume they choose appearance yeah. at will. Yes, that's pretty much what I got. It can be red, it can be yellow, it can be orange, it can be whatever color I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Pretty much is what I got. Mm. But Do they have Gino? Gino? Yeah, do they have DNA? Oh, why don't you just come in and talk? Yes, they have Gino. What size would it be? Billions, trillions of bases? Ten to the tenth? Billions. Mm. We have three billions. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, are they creating new species this century? Other than humans? We do not create. Much. Hello. We do not create much. So we just support it. We do support your function. What's your function? We support the function. We do creation with, but not being creation. We do creation with plants and animals, but not with humans or higher intelligence. Are you creating plant species? We are. Are you collaborating with uh, human spirits doing that? No, that is not their job. So, are you the primary <clears throat> uh, kind of consciousness that creates plants and animals? It could be said, yes. Did you create cats and human on Earth? We uh, helped create cats. So what's the secret of the cat? The secret of the cat? Yeah. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was just being funny. All right. The secret of the cat is their analytical mind. Ah. Are they coming from any other planet or they were like hybrid of Earth? And... They were brought from another planet, but they were hybrided with something else from another planet. So, it was a double hybrid. Would they be like, looking like cats and tigers on other planets? Yes, but not quite the same. What planet was that? What planet was what? The source of our cats. Lyra? Uh, Lyra is a star? No, it's no, a constellation. Oh, it's a constellation. So what star would it be? Zimpua. Zimpua. Yes. And what planet? Zimpua too. Zimpua too. Thank you. And what do, what were they hybridized with? Several different species of cat, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are many cats there, but they have other species of animals as well. Thank you. So what is your name? No, no, no. I cannot tell. What makes you proud? What makes me proud? That I have reached this level. What level are you then? That I've reached this level on Dimension 5. What level is that? I don't know what it would be called. Number three? I don't know if it has a name. It's just a reality. All right. Uh, 
What are your friends? I have many friends. Are they fairies? Yes. Hmm. Do you have a common name? What kind of fairies are you? Well, we have our own name for ourselves. Each of us has a name. So I cannot give away any names? My name is Sun. Sun? Sun. Like our sun in the sky? Yes. Wow. Hey, Sun. Ah, have you been ever a human spirit? Have I ever been a human spirit? Yes. Yes. Wow. Many, many centuries of your Earth time. So, the human spirits are seven dimensions, and you are now in the fifth dimension. So, basically, it's just changing the body, right? So, you have been a human. Was it a three-dimensional human many centuries ago, or was it higher dimensional human? It was three-dimensional. So, you just incarnated in third dimension, and now incarnated in the fifth. You go up levels. Mm -hmm. As time goes by, you can. It is your decision, and it is what you work for. So, fairies are just another species where souls can incarnate in? Yes. Ah, that's a big aha for us. I am communication with humans. Oh, yes. In but you don't hear us. You don't see us. Uh -huh. But we communicate. We guide at times, if that is our purpose. Are you present more in forests than in houses? More in, yes, we are more in nature than we are in establishments. So we feel I, more at home. When I am in the forest, how would I feel your presence? You would feel it when the wind blows. Mm -hmm. You will feel it when you smell a strong fragrance of flowers. You will feel it when a sound comes that you're not familiar with, or if a crackle in the leaves or bushes. You will know that we are there. You are sound very you sound very poetically. Uh, would you like to read some poetry? Poetry is not necessary in fifth dimension, but we do have our words that we speak for empowerment and for for joy and love and connection. Can you give us some of that? Yes. Um. Sizozi subafu Arata to posata si zebo wondabo wo sho sho tikarata pai. Okay. Is that good? Can you translate? Um, I don't know if it has a translation for earthlings. Let me see. It would be. I. One of the words would be hallelujah. Alright. Much joy, peace, and comfort. Be as you are. And rise as you wish. Does that make any sense? Yes. Ponder things unpondered. Yes. That I can translate, but the rest is vague. Oh, it is beautiful. It's very light-minded. It is what? Light-minded. Ah. Very unheavy. Yes. Unheavy, yes. Uh, your language sounds very much like Lakesha's language. Do we have common words in languages, yours and Lakesha's? No. Ah, oh, interesting. Ah, oh, so... It may sound similar, but it is actually very different. So, the ice melting and the ecological things, how do you take it? We just see that as it, it is what it is, because we know how the universe works. Is it part of your job to do the things? We do not help with those things, no. We cannot be part of those things. So what is, what you, what you do, what, how is it different from ecological things? Ecological things are for different beings than us. Can you give a name? You will know. Ah. We are not to seekers of knowledge. We are not those that give knowledge to others. We are not those considered wise, although we are. But we are those that are light, and we give creation, and we give of the joy that we can. Joy, yes, joy, that's what we like. Yes. Uh, so when children laugh, are you around laughing with them? We love children. Children actually can see us at times. Ah, how do, they, how do you look then? We look like small people. Oh, you're humanoids in any way? Yes, in some ways. What size? We're actually comical looking to them. Ah. We're very small. 
What size? About maybe a foot tall. Ah. And gnomes are not fairies, right? Gnomes are different. Ah. They have a different purpose. So we have a lot of cartoons about fairies and even movies about fairies. Gnomes are in the protective realm. And you? We're in the creative realm. Ah, creative realm of God. Yes, but we do not do sentient beings uh -huh. with intelligence. We can do small animals and rodents. You mean create new species or something else than that? We can help with them and create, help create them. We do not uh, totally create them, but we have our ideas. Uh, how many of uh, your fairies kind is... How many fairies are on Earth? About 28,000. Oh, that's few. Yes, we are all over the universe. Ah. Are you humanoid on other planets? We are what we need to be. Oh, so you can metamorph? We are what we need to be where we are. So if you come to uh, an animal, would you look like an animal? I can look like an animal, but I prefer not to. But if it would help with your joy, I will look like an animal. Oh, so you are somehow connected with human consciousness. What's your connection? We are part of the things that you find pleasurable. Ah. So how can we invite more of you then? We are done. We are designated. What does it mean? There are certain amounts for certain planets. Ah, so we cannot invite more of you? No. Are you outside of time? Outside of our time? Not always, but we can be. Ah, confusion. So you prefer to go with our time, somehow linked, right? Uh, yes. So you are from this century of our time. Yeah. Can you go back two centuries ago? Yes, but we cannot change anything. Oh, but you can look it up? Yes. Can you look up things two centuries forward? Not forward. Only backward? Yes. How about a week forward? Perhaps a few days. Not, like, not unlike this do. Correct. But we can travel back as far as we like, and they are not permitted. Aha. Uh -huh. The only thing that we can change in the past is a slight emotion or things of that nature, which would not make it a huge difference in, in history. So, we are not permitted, but we can witness and learn. So, and you also in a certain level of the fifth dimension, so you communicate with a certain type of these thousands of fairies, right? Yes. Are you communicating only with Earth fairies or it's intergalactic thing? It depends on what is needed. Oh, you also work from need. Do you play much? Play is part of joy. So it's a big part of your yes. existence. Do you find it enjoyable to communicate with fairies of other planets? Of course. Do you do a lot of that? When, in, when we need to. Oh, so you're also busy with needed stuff. There are things that we must do, yes. So what's, what are the functions you do? You ask too many questions. But I will tell you that we do inhabit some other things. Like trees? Yes. Horses? Yes. Ah, humans? We do not do human. Dogs? Yes. Is it one at a time or you just kind of spread your energy in many creatures at once? It can be both. But I am in a human now and I have never been in one before. Ah, you have incarnated as a human, haven't you? Hmm? You incarnated in, uh, as a human in the past. Yes, but I've never possessed one. How does it feel? Odd. You speak really well. Thank you. You're... I, I find that the angel Gahil can easily go into gym, and Lakesh is the only alien who speaks easily through gym. All others It would trouble. appear that the higher the entity, the easier it is for them to speak through him. Uh-huh. What's your... Do you evolve at all? Oh, yes. And we have a life expectancy as well. Oh, wow. What's that? So, several hundred years in your time. Uh-huh. But yet, everything dies, except for God. But I must go now. I've outdone myself here. 
I appreciate your visit. It was so much pleasure to meet Faris and you in person. Yes. <laughs> Sun bye. Max bye. <laughs>